Alright, hey everybody, this is going to be System Test 4, I think, and, um, this is going to have a huge change to the system. First, as you can see right here, we have the M Firelight MS FCI MS2, this does not have anything to do with the system. There's the cat. I'm going to go in here, as you can see, I did, for these screws that hold this thing in, I had to, like, keep them out a little bit because like then the door will go beyond this piece of wood right here and that's not what we want to happen so oh yeah I forgot there's a light up there I'm going to take it out so we're going to turn this on and then I guess we'll start the system there's some exit signs um get this light turned on um here's the panel as you can see, it has been it's been really cleaned up, and I do mean really cleaned up. See, yeah, we've t done a lot to clean it up, and everything is being inside this junction box in here. You can see all the wiring is going up there. Now, um, there's also another thing to the system. As you can see, also the strobe neck has been cleaned up quite a bit. See? There's only one wire. As you can see, there's only two wires from that. And, well, only one's being used. And I'll show you why. Look. This is why. See? That's right. Our new panel. That's right. It's the DVS slash 50 voice evacuation slash paging system. These things usually tend to come out a lot, so I'm going to push them back in. This panel is really neat. This is just a slave panel. That's not effective anymore. Um, slave panel, if you, you don't know what that means, this, it basically means that this panel will not work on its own. Like, you cannot use this one panel as an entire system. It will just not work. You have to have another panel. Of course, this is the microphone here. And right here is the thing for the tornado thing. The tornado alert, see? Um, you know what? To add the effect, you know what we're going to do? We had to unplug this because we're adding another exit sign there. See? It was taken down from another spot, and what we're going to do is hopefully you can get up without getting hurt. I don't want to get hurt. No one wants to get hurt. Let's see here, this plugs in like. Typically, this pull, this thing is not turned off, but watch it. This is preheat. That's neat. That exit was given to us by YouTube user Decent Lucy, by the way. As you can see, bug bugs have gotten into it. I need to clean it out. Now. Here's this other access sign. When I press this test button, it shows up a lot dimmer because the reason why is because this exit sign right here has to, um, I put the battery from that in here because for some reason the battery that came with that isn't working in that. But it's barely working in this one, so I'm just leaving it like that. There's another exit sign. YouTube user Diesel Lucy's given us. Um, so yeah, right here. Simplex 4250120, and up there is the we uh, the game while slash we lock speaker strobe. There's the other exit sign. That's where the other exit sign was pulled from. Right here is another 4251-20, and up here is a Spectre Alert Classic Strobe Only. I mean remote strobe 1575 Candela. There's a speaker for the Voice back, of course. Here's another system sensor specter alert classic thing. And here is the 299. It was it was at one point addressable, but it was converted to conventional. And right here's another 4251-20 with a Wheelock RS. And yes, this is an RS. I don't know if there's a label back here or not. We can check. And there ain't no label. Alright, so here we go.
Wait, focus. The garage has a Edward C70 SPO and a um, Spectral Advanced. So, I mean, we're not even going to go out there. Attention, please. Attention, please. The signal you have just heard indicates a report of an emergency in this building. Walk to the nearest exit and Excuse leave me. the building. All handicapped occupants shall follow the building evacuation plan. It's actually kind of quiet for some reason. It used to be louder. Attention, please. Attention, please. The signal you have just heard indicates a report of an emergency in this building. Walk to the nearest exit and leave the you building. You can't even talk over it. All handicapped Attention, everyone. A fire has been reported on in the basement. Um, please evacuate now. Thank you. That's all I got. And they'll just keep doing code 3 continuously until you reset it. It won't talk anymore. Silencing will stop the panel. Again, it is a slave panel, so you don't have to reset it. And then just reset the panel. Oh, crap. Uh, yep, it's gonna go back into alarm again. Let's just set this up. Should be. I don't have to press silence, but it's just a habit. Alright, now we're gonna do this pull station. We reset this. This is a Simplex B key copy. The actual Simplex B key is. Where is it? Is it even on this ring? No, it isn't. I'll tell you, this copy works much better than the genuine Simplex key. Let's see here if we can find it. Here it is. See, this B key right here ain't as, um, uh, smooth as the other one. See? I like, I like to copy more. Cheers, the copy. It's very nice and shiny. So, reset. Oh, yeah. Zone 6. I have the, um, panel zones right there. Alright, and these all these pole stations are eventually gonna go up later. There's every BG series pole station in case you're wondering. So let's pull this one. something here. Let's activate this. So. Attention, now let's silence the panel. And yes, there is no lock on the panel currently. We will be getting one soon, though. See how this used to be addressable? So the dip switch is right there. And I'm not gonna bother, want, bother wanting to reset it. Actually, let's just reset it. And then we'll pull this pull station over here. Oh yeah, this. That works. Yes, this is dangling. I I actually bought this 
from a Lowe's display. It, it didn't come like that. That happened. But, yeah, I bought this as, at a, as a Lowe's display. They were clearance, and, and I got it for about six bucks. Very cheap. Excuse the darkness. Actually, let's see if this light works. Yeah, it probably won't help. You know what? Let me try something. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Here we go. Zone 4, basement door. Be you may be thinking that. Basement door over there. Of course, there eventually is going to be a post station right here. But of course, I don't have enough wiring. Probably going to eventually go to the Habitat store and buy some. Oh, and there's the slot machine. You know what, let's turn on the flashlight, you can see the, um, uh, tokens in the hopper. So, I guess that concludes System Test 4. It could be System Test 5, I don't know, but for now, thank you for watching, and I guess that's about it. Well, this may, this key switch hole may work. I don't know, but I guess right now, that's about it. I'll just quickly, since a lot of people like seeing it, I'll show you what's going on. This here... That's the security system, not finished yet. As you can see, the wiring's a mess. I'll show you something as well. Let me get the keys. Let's find the Hudson, the Hudson key. And let's base let's lock the door. And let's stick this key in here. Alright. So this is the access control system. See? Doors locked, you can't get in. Enter the passcode, press star, you can get in. Now let's say you need to get in for an emergency. Lift up. Press that and you can reset it. May I remove that because that's not, this was originally actually using the doorbell circuit, but I actually had it separate. Alarm, it had a little radio check buzzer. Of course, things change, and uh, and you have these two absolutely blaring alarms, but that's just going to show you how I'm supposed to use this. I guess we'll just do it one more time to demonstrate, actually, demonstrate this key switch right here. It's a momentary key switch. See, pull it. Now let's find the, um, Cat 45 key. Actually, no, don't think Cat 45. What am I saying? I talked about. Let's see. Here's the PK 65 key, which works for this. All right. Oh, the door didn't even latch. Silly. All right. So I guess that basically concludes system test four. Thank you all for watching.